Hello, this is Jay again. I came back with another nice session surf video. Please check my first video as well if you haven't yet. This night we surfed M3 and M4, which is considered um, intermediate waves. And as you can see, it was a little more crowded than the day before, like around 15 people. Um, still way less than the full capacity though. Wearing a leash is mandatory at the wave park for safety reasons and duck diving, turtle roll is not allowed in here. If you follow the flow, there's no reason to do it anyways. Falling off of the board is inevitable in surfing. If you fall, grab your board immediately and go to the opposite direction of the ride, basically to the wall. Make sure you look back to ensure safety and get the white water and go down all the way to the safety zone where the yellow line is and then come back up to the lineup. Doing this is critical for the safety reasons and please watch their safety video before starting your session. And if you see the surfer fell from the board in front of you, it's better to pull out your board and discontinue riding to avoid collision. In this wave park, first and the last wave of the set are somewhat smaller than the other ones. For that reason, many people tend to not go for the first and the last waves to avoid catching small ones. However, when the session is full or more than 15 people in the session, I think it's better to not waste those waves and go for them so that more people can enjoy more waves. I surf both ocean and the wave pool. They're similar but very different. And the concrete wall next to you humble you big time. And I know you're a good surfer, but I recommend for intermediate surfers who are visiting the wave park for the first time to start at the beginner session. And for advanced surfers, start at the intermediate sessions just to feel how it is to surf artificial wave. Um, try to go slow, take your time, and adjust your surfing to the wave pool, and have fun. I like to talk about the pros and cons of surfing wave park. First, it's an exact same size waves made by the machine, so it's a perfect place for practicing and improving your surf skills. This is the best place to test out different types of board or fin setup, to feel the difference. It can also be a greater workout than ocean surfing. You pretty much get to surf non-stop. One session at the wave park equals to two hours in the ocean in my opinion and you can maximize your workout and surf practice here. People get better at surfing very fast here. I as well personally got better so much surfing here that I really appreciate the opportunity and second one person per wave you don't have to worry about fighting for a wave in the lineup people dropping in on you or snaking on you you just take turn and enjoy your own wave for 20 seconds third the water is very clear it's not salty at all no chlorine I heard the water is clearer than the filtered water, but I see a lot of bird feather or bugs floating on the water, so I don't know about drinking them. Lastly, you get to meet good surfers from all around the world and get to see their surfing and learn from them. I see more people coming from Japan, Taiwan, or Hong Kong, um, sometimes even from Hawaii. And there are so many competitions held in the wave park, such as WSL or local amateur competitions. I think it makes people keep motivated and have fun, which is a big fuel for growth in surfing in South Korea. And let's talk about cons of surfing at the wave park. First of all, it can be repetitive. It, you can get bored or tired very easily. I did monthly pass last year in May, which I surf two sessions every day for the entire month. 
And by the time I was done, I felt like a hamster on a wheel, running the same spot over and over again, and I miss surfing in the ocean so much. When you surf in the ocean, the waves are unpredictable, and you gotta learn how to read wave. You gotta fight for waves, and those stuff cannot be learned in the wave pool. And lastly, surfing in the ocean is free, but here it's not. The cost of the surfing can add up very quickly. You have two chances when it comes to catching waves. If you miss it the first time, you can go for the next one. And since you are likely pushed forward by the first wave, the key is to stay off from the wall a little bit more than the first try to prevent nose diving. I got chicken in this video and I missed three waves in a row. I was a little embarrassed, but it's okay. And it was the last wave of the session, so I had to pedal all the way back in. I hope this video was helpful. Please leave a comment if you have any question. And have fun. See you at the wave park. Bye.